Hi everyone, my name is Vivian and I am a fourth year global health student here at UC San Diego in the global health program. And for my thesis, I am examining the effectiveness of ACE measurement frameworks for immigrant youth groups in the United States. First and second generation immigrants make up 26% of the US population. And even though they are a significant part of this population, they are often overlooked in trauma care and in adverse childhood experiences or ACEs measurement processes. ACEs are measured using a tool called the ACE questionnaire, which is a survey that has a list of 10 different experiences that the survey participant answers yes or no to based on whether or not they have experienced this ACE and this computes into an ACE score, which determines severity of ACE exposure. The ACE questionnaire was created in 1998 based on information from a participant pool that was almost 80% white and 43% college educated, meaning that the experiences that the survey reflects are most relevant for this specific group. And in my research through a non-systematic literature review, looking at different studies analyzing ACEs in immigrant groups, I found that for immigrants in the United States who are often not white, middle class, college educated Americans, when they take the ACE questionnaire, they tend to score lower than native born Americans do, even though they tend to face more adversity in their lives. And some researchers call this the immigrant health paradox. But it turns out that immigrants are not scoring lower on the ACE questionnaire because they are experiencing less ACEs, but that the survey itself is not asking the right questions in the right way. Currently, the ACE questionnaire only mentions three categories of ACEs, and it does not reflect the adversities and sources of trauma that immigrants commonly experience, namely community dysfunction, which includes racism, xenophobia, violence in the community, and this could mean violence in the community in their native country or in the United States, um, adversities that are specific to the immigrant experience and process itself, like detainment, deportation, being undocumented, and resource instability due to unstable sources of food, housing, or income due to a parental figure being undocumented or deported. Also, the ACE screening process itself is uncomfortable and not at all inclusive of non-English speakers or cognizant of cultural factors that may re influence responses to the ACE questionnaire. So what can be done to make the ACE measurement scale more relevant for immigrant youth groups in the United States? This could mean expansion of the ACE categories in the ACE questionnaire to integrate more ACEs that are relevant and representative of the immigrant process and experiences themselves. Um, and this could also mean an overhaul of the screening process itself to be more comfortable and cognizant of the language and cultural differences, as well as sensitivity concerning mistrust in the healthcare system and stigma surrounding these sensitive topics. This can be manifested in clinicians who are more representative of the immigrant minority groups themselves, who represent their cultural background and speak the languages. So the ACE questionnaire and the ACE measurement framework as a whole right now is not as relevant or effective as it should be for immigrant groups in the United States, even though this group does make up more than a quarter of the US population. And I think taking into account these aspects could make the ACE measurement framework more accurate and it's evaluations of immigrant youth and be more inclusive as a whole. Thank you.